welcome back sports gamers it's the natural we all know madden 21's franchise mode was a major disappointment and that it basically was a copy and paste job from madden 20 which led to the fixed madden franchise move and a shift in gears at ea those that follow sgo have heard me say previously that franchise will be a major focus for madden 22 and it appears i was correct yet again so let's get into the five biggest additions and improvements for franchise in madden 22 at the end of the video, I will give you guys a chance to have all of your franchise questions answered. Starting right off, the coaching staffs. According to EA, this year's franchise mode is more of an RPG style, narrative driven experience. Coaching staffs make a return with offensive and defensive coordinators and a player personnel department in addition to the head coaches. Now the staffs are not fully licensed like in older Maddens, but they are customizable. New staff points are generated weekly by setting goals, playing games, and completing objectives and can be used to build a team using the talent tree that fits your playstyle. Moving right into scouting, scouting is back with national and regional scouts, an entirely new in-depth system where you scout prospects just like real life, and players will go up and down the draft board depending on how they fare during the season. There will be a live service update in September to release this feature. Definitely looking forward to this one and getting more information on it. Going into the weekly strategy, the weekly strategy is the core of the franchise experience and Madden 22, who, where, and when you play is said to play a bigger role than in past games. Halftime adjustments, next gen stats, opponents play calling tendencies, and managing things like fatigue and practice intensity are all part of this mode. And strategy is gonna be a big part in franchise mode and tying into the gameplay of Madden 22, especially when you get at those halftime and pregame adjustments. An enhanced season engine, an attempt to mimic the true to life ups and downs, an NFL season franchise mode launches with over 35 scenarios with more updates to come throughout the year. This is essentially an extension of the scenario engine introduced in Madden 20, but more of a cut scene instead of just a text on screen. You can pair a young wide receiver with an elite quarterback and create breakout games that can trigger at different levels. New choices and challenges will be added with live service updates. And this is one of the things I've talked about previously that they really left a lot on the table of not taking advantage of all the hundreds, thousands of different scenarios you can do. So many different things that can happen during the NFL season that they did not even touch upon. So 35 is a good start, but I think they should keep adding them. They could be hundreds of different things um, from a player holding out to a player having problem with other players on the team and team chemistry. And there's so many things that Snare Engine can touch upon and, real, and kind of re replicate real life NFL experience in the locker room or in a practice field or, you know, through, with the team. Moving on to the franchise hub update. This year's Madden also debuts an updated franchise UI. The hub aims to streamline the most important information for players such as activity lists, team goals, roster management, the league tab, and a reworked news tab. Really, people shouldn't sleep on UI. I mean, it's like a cosmetic type thing, but it can really enhance the experience, especially if it's not buggy or laggy or freezing up when you're moving through it. If it's smooth and a smooth experience and lets you get to places that you're trying to get and shows you information in an easier fashion that you can see before, I'm all for improve UI. And uh, that's a big part of the franchise up update. So that is five there. That's the top five. What do you guys think? Like I said at the beginning of the video, I want to get all of your franchise questions answered. So we may have actually have a sit down with developers this year so let me know all of your madden 21 questions in the comments below i will do my best to get them answered thanks for supporting my content i'll catch you guys in the next one like this video and subscribe now for more news tips reviews and gameplay from all of your favorite sports games now if you want to take your game to the next level with insider news free games and access to our private chat join our patreon in the link below and subscribe to sgo insider today